Good morning, everyone. This is Damien with Ultimate Marine. Uh, just want to hop on here and show you. I got a real special treat today. Uh, it's really nice here today, out here in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we just got a delivery of another boat in right now with another 30 game fish just pulled up. Um, and today I have a real special treat for you. So I'm gonna flip the camera around here and we'll see what we can dive into today. So again, a really nice day here. We're starting to fill in with some boats. I have my spider that I've done a video on here. I have a few exos uh, still available. I have a 234 sitting right there. I got a 25 game fish sitting right here, but my focus today is on this beauty right here. This is our first 2025 Sea Hunt 27 game fish. This is our first one that's really hit the lot with a lot of the new features that are on the boat. Uh, the hull design hasn't changed really, so we're not gonna see a whole lot of difference in that. They don't really need to change it. The boat's pretty much perfect as it is. But there she is right there sitting on its trailer, all set and ready to go. Uh, this boat currently is listed at its full NAP which is 191, so 191,000 and some change. Uh, that does not include the trailer and that's full MSRP. Uh, so what deal we can make you? Well, give us a call and we can find out. Um, but we'll go through this boat. You can see right now it's uh, got an ice blue hull. It's got the black powder coating, white interior, outriggers. Uh, outriggers aren't rigged yet, so you see they're kind of tucked up for transport and everything. This boat literally just got here uh, not too long ago. We've uh, rinsed it off. We've gotten it up front here next to our 25 that's standing tall right over there as well. Uh, so boat looks really good. We're going to hop inside uh, here in a little bit and take a peek around. But first off, I'm just going to walk around this. It's a really beautiful boat. These boats always have some nice lines and this is a really great color combo. Ice blue and black. A lot of folks think that the light and dark won't really look too well, but it's actually gorgeous. White motors standard now on these sea hunts. We always end up getting mag wheels on our trailers, make them look really nice. Black outriggers look well. They look good. Let's see, we'll have come around back here. We have a transom ladder. This is one of the ladders that actually a lot of folks don't even realize that are back here, but this right here is a ladder. Let's pull this guy all the way out. There she goes. And there she is just like that. This is actually a really nice ladder. It gets well below the water line. Water line on this boat, it meets up right here to about these guys right where that, um, that stripe is at. So it gets below the water line well. Twin 200s on this boat, pushes the boat nice, gets up to about 50 miles an hour. Of course, when you get to the, uh, to the 250s, you can go well over 50 miles an hour, especially with the new ones, that torque lower unit. Do have electric steering. These new 200s have that system that the 300s and 250s do, and now the 350s and 425s, of course. Boat looks really clean. This boat does have the underwater lights that we see there. Trim tabs. Beautiful boat. We'll look up at that hard top. You can see the Kingfish rod holders, rod holders to stick out to the side. Just like that, we'll see it when we hop in the boat as well. Come around here to this side. Boat just looks really clean, really nice. Dive door sitting right there. Sitting on its nice trailer, SeaTech trailer. Always a spare tire. We do not cop out when it comes to trailers or anything of that nature. Boat just looks really good. Look at that Carolina Flare. I mean, look at that. Great ride on these boats. Nice and dry. We'll kind of just get like a front facing view of it. Looks absolutely fantastic. We'll hop up in there, take a look at some of the features. I'll show you some of the new things that are coming out for the 25s. Again, just want to highlight our lot here. 25 game fish sitting pretty, gray on gray. 234 over there, ice blue on white. Some EXO sitting in the corner. There's one of our delivery trucks. This is how much we don't skimp here at Ultimate Marine. Giant F550 work truck sitting on bags. And then of course our spider, our beautiful showroom here with our big sea hunt sign. Anyways, let's hop into this 27 game fish that's sitting right here and see what we got in store. So I'm coming into the boat here through the transom door. And first thing you'll see is I have the mezzanine leaning post with the aquarium style 
Live wall sitting underneath right there. This is a rear facing seat, looks really nice. Keep eye on your rods when trolling. Looking towards the back of the boat. I have my fish box right here. So this is an insulated cooler. And on the days you're not fishing, stuff the towels in there, stuff the kids' toys in there, uh, you know, wives and everything that can stuff all their gear in there, uh, the floaties and so on and so forth. It's a really big, deep space. So lots of storage. And if you're not using it for fishing and you know you're going out and tying up to other boats at the sandbar, uh, put your fenders in there. It can fit two, three, four size, full, uh, full size fenders in there. Uh, really nice. Cutting board on top and next to that, I do have a live well. Lays all the way open, which makes it really easy to go in there and get some baits. Nice deep well. This particular boat does have a recirculating pump in there. Cup rod holder combos in the transom. It's like that when you are out at the sandbar or anything like that cruising around, you can put cups or rods in there. Twin 200s, nice pearlescent white. Again, pushes the boat. I think I've seen they go to get up to 52 with the 200s. Rear transom door here. I have my water fill for fresh water, 19 gallons of fresh water in the boat. Little storage here. I do have a cushion that goes on top of this as well. And I can also lift that storage, or excuse me, that bin that's in there out to get to the fresh water pump. Coming around, two piece dive door that opens inside. Just like that. And then like that. Opens up. Nice thick seal right there. Keep water from coming in. And you see my bracket from my side entry ladder that goes up and over the bottom of that door to go well into the water. It's a four rung ladder. Coming around here back to the leaning post. You can see I pull back to front on this live well, clear top lid, and just pop her back down. These are all insulated, by the way, one, two, and three. So if you want to just, you know, pop a bag of ice in there for the day to put kids drinks and whatnot in there, you absolutely can do so. Going forward here, this boat does have dual screens. These are dual 12s. The 28 game fish is where I can get dual 16s. Here I can fit dual 12s. I have my JL MM105 right here. This is a cordless phone charger. You can see that right there. All my switches. This is a big switch that we'll talk about here in a minute, the bow table. Accessory switch for if you do put like a light bar or something like that on the, on the hard top. Everything. I have my Yamaha gauge right here, CO5. This boat does come with autopilot. You can still get this with joystick if you did uh, want that uh, we can put that option here or here or wherever you like really wherever she fits tilt steering i'll look up towards the hard top here vhf overhead lights i now i'm getting these storage boxes that a lot of folks used to be get put in afterwards they are now coming with this storage box wallet keys phone whatever else you need registration papers in there windshield vent right there full tempered glass windshield on these boats I still get my nice pad right here to put wallet keys phone so they don't come back towards you I've got a nice little lip in there really comfortable boat for those who are we'll call vertically challenged instead of short I have three places you can put your feet so I have this back one here that's really nice when you're actually sitting down so these bolsters and my leaning post flip down I can still put my feet down there I can put my feet, of course, on the floor, but then I have two kick pads. So I have one here all the way at the bottom, and then I have another one right here. Coming around to the front, you'll see my big feature now. It was one of the big differences that people were asking for and got on these boats is the front bow table that uh, rises and lowers on its own, oscillates up and down on that pole. Um, so I'll. Uh, here in a little bit, turn the batteries on and show you how that works, but we'll just do the wraparound seating now. 
So obviously this table can go up just a little bit more than it is right now. So like that, you can actually use it as table, sit around it. You can truthfully fit about four people up there comfortably. It can get level with the rest of the deck to make a continuous deck. And then you can see it's actually etched out into the floor. So this goes all the way down to the bottom and fits flush with the floor. So like that, you just have a, a seamless floor, not a multi-level deck. Windless up there as per usual. And then coming around, you see I have my cup rod holder combos. I have my waist tank. Coming around here, you can see my windshield. I got my front spreader up there with my horn and everything like that. We'll come around to my cabin and I'll take my cushions out and show you inside. So diving in, the entry is on the port side of this cabin here. And you'll see, still a brand new boat, still have everything in there. You see my ladder tucked into the right side there, that's where it's stored. You'll see I now have, this is a new feature on these 2025s, some hangers on the inside. This is for ropes, life jackets, anything that you need. Uh, you can even put small nets and such in here uh, to, uh, to store them away, kind of store them dry and keep them out of everything. Uh, you get a net on the inside now. Uh, a couple new features here for these 2025s. And then of course you still have my nice deep storage that goes there. Um, if we were to put like a... Uh, a trolling motor on this boat, this is a decent place to put batteries and everything on this left side storage right there. And I'm going to go ahead and turn my batteries on and I'll show you kind of where my batteries are at right here. Battery switches I should say. So I'm going to turn these on and I'm going to show you how that front table oscillates up and down. So there's my telescoping table that is all the way down, neat with the floor. And you'll see this is actually flush. It's a one level deck, so I can walk all the way up here now and get to my windlass with my controls. Still have all my storages up here, big deep storages. Again, these are insulated, so they can be treated as fish boxes. Here we're gonna watch as a 30 game fish goes by. Nice 30 game fish. New boat also available, white on white, coffin box style. Parking in its spot right there. On its trailer, set and ready to go. Another beautiful boat. Anyways, enough distractions. We'll come back here to this boat. So here's my other fish box. And then I have another floor storage right here with a bucket and everything. This is a great place for uh, one, either trash, a lot of folks actually use that for trash, funny enough, uh, or if you're out there and you're a fisherman like me, a cast net, I always put a cast net in a bucket, this way it's locked in. You can also take this bucket out and just use it for a larger storage for something else. So you can see how it kind of still has plenty of room in there for other things. Uh, if you want to put other, I don't know, safety gear and so on and so forth in there, you absolutely can. And then as always, we have our front storage up here. See, Hun loves to give you little extras. So here's your bottle opener. Close these for you. And look back at the rest of the boat. There we are, hard top, ice blue underside still. Again, beautiful color. We'll come back around the port side this time. Got some storages in this. This is where we like to put like our Coast Guard kits and everything in these boats. Just lots of space in here. That's my freshwater hose that's in there. Lots and lots of space for everything. And again, looking up at the hard top. Here's my Kingfish rod holders that stick out to the side. My rod holders that are normally up top with my two speakers. Got a good look at my leaning post. Nice interior, durable interior. A lot of people say, oh, white just gets so dirty. Uh, this is a really durable interior, so you can take a soft brush to this, keep it clean. It doesn't really stay stained. You know, tack your stains right away. Don't be a lazy boater. Bring out something to wash the boat with. A little brush. And there you go. Deck plates right there to keep everything from washing down. Bilge access. 
There she goes, clean boat. 2025, 27 game fish. A little bit more of a thorough overview of everything. She's all set, ready to go whenever you guys are. So that's this brand new 2025 uh, Sea Hunt 27 game fish. Uh, this boat is absolutely fantastic. I'm sitting here at the helm under the hard top because it is hot as hell out here in Florida and any shade you can get is good shade given this hard top. So uh, reach out to us here at Ultimate Marine. Uh, we're at 7501 North El Mabry. I'll be happy to, to show you this boat, tell you kind of what we can do for you on this boat. This one is on the lot available. I got a 30 peeking over my shoulder that's available. I'm looking at a 25, a 234, all these boats are available, uh, ready to sell at any time. We're having our grand opening event this weekend. This is July, or excuse me, June 7th and 8th, 2024. Uh, we'll have that grand opening event. We'll be offering some awesome deals. Uh, so come out and see us. Uh, you'll see boats like this one. You'll see many others. Uh, we'll have some great stuff going on. And uh, bring your trade even. If you want, if you got a trade, we'll be able to see and give you a valuation right there on the spot. Uh, but otherwise, guys, thanks for going through this walkthrough with me. Uh, as boats come in, I'll probably end up doing this 30 here later today, uh, doing just a quick walkthrough on that one. If you guys have any questions about this boat in particular or anything about boating in general, please let me know. I'd be happy to show you uh, and, uh, and get you into the loop of things. So other than that, guys, we hope to see you on the water doing it the ultimate way, and uh, we'll catch you soon. Take care.